So you've noticed a black line on your nail. It's one of those things, right? You see it once and suddenly you can't stop looking at it and your mind just starts racing. That's a totally normal reaction. And of course, you're a little bit worried. What on earth is this? Is it something serious? That concern is completely valid. And it's exactly why you're here. You're looking for some clear, straight answers. Okay, let's get right into it. And I wanna start with some good news. The vast, vast majority of these lines are completely harmless. So our goal here is to give you the knowledge you need to tell the difference so you can spot the ones that are totally fine and the very few that might need a closer look. We're gonna start with the most common and frankly, reassuring reasons first, because odds are what you're seeing falls into one of these harmless categories. So as you can see, there are a few usual suspects. These can be tiny lines of bleeding under the nail from some minor trauma, they call those splinter hemorrhages, or maybe it's just a simple pigmented stripe, or even a classic bruise from a more obvious injury. The main thing to get here is that there are several perfectly normal explanations. Now this is a great breakdown of the two most common things you might be seeing. On the left, a splinter hemorrhage. It really does look like a tiny little wood splinter and it's usually from just bumping your hand or something. The key thing to know, it will grow out as your nail grows. But then on the right, you have benign melanosia. This is different. It's a stable, consistent stripe that just kind of hangs out. It's way more common in people with darker skin tones and you might even see it on a few different nails. It doesn't change, it just is. Okay, so we've covered the common stuff. Now we need to carefully and calmly talk about the rare but serious possibility. We're gonna walk through these specific red flags for a condition known as subungual melanoma. So what is subungual melanoma? Well, it's a type of skin cancer that, you guessed it, forms under the nail. Now it's not common, but it is really important to know what it looks like. It usually appears as a single dark vertical line that runs all the way from the bottom of your nail to the very tip. And this right here, this chart, shows a super important point that a lot of people don't realize. While we often associate melanoma with fair skin, nail melanoma is a different story. It can account for up to 30% of all melanomas in people with darker skin, but only about 3% in those with lighter skin. That is a huge difference, and it's vital information for everyone to be aware of. So, how do you actually spot the warning signs? Thankfully, dermatologists have created a really simple checklist. You can think of it as your own personal detection guide, made specifically for what to look for on your nails. It's called the ABCDEF rule. Let's just quickly walk through this together. A is for age and race. The risk goes up between 40 and 70, especially for individuals of African or Asian descent. B is for the band itself. You're looking for a brown or black band, wider than three millimeters with fuzzy or irregular borders. C is for change, and this one is absolutely critical. Is the band getting wider or darker over time? D is for digit. It tends to show up most often on the thumb, big toe, or index finger. E is for extension. We're gonna talk more about that in a second. And finally, F is for family history of melanoma. Okay, let's zoom in on E for extension, because this is the single most important red flag of them all. It has a name, Hutchinson sign. This is what it's called when the color doesn't just stay in the nail, but actually spreads out onto the skin around it, you know, the cuticle or the nail fold. If you see this, the advice is crystal clear. You need to see a doctor, no waiting. All right, you now have the tools to tell the difference between what's probably fine and what could be a red flag. So let's get to the most important part, your action plan. When exactly do you need to see a doctor? This slide lays it out perfectly. You see a doctor now, like urgently, if you see that Hutchinson sign, if the line is changing sass, or if there's any bleeding or soreness for no reason. On the other hand, you can just schedule a regular visit if the line has been there forever and hasn't changed, if you have it on multiple nails, or if you know for a fact it came from a minor injury that's just healing. The key is separating rapid change from long-term stability. And why is all of this so critical? I think this quote really says it all. Catching this stuff early, it can literally be the difference between a simple, successful treatment and a much, much more serious fight down the road. Your awareness, your willingness to just pay attention, it really, really matters.